Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. That means a lot to me, thank you. I'd like to talk about emotional swings. I'm sure we've all had a touch of an experience with an emotional swing. Maybe one morning you felt fearful and anxious because you saw something on the recent news. And then that afternoon you connected with a whole lot of people and you felt love and, and delight and, and closeness. And, and so that's one extreme swing, isn't it? And a lot of us are going through extreme swings at the moment. And it's, it's disruptive, it's disharmonious, and um, it doesn't lead to uh, consistency in our spiritual walk. And so I want to suggest a couple of things. Firstly, the hermetic principles are really worth looking into. There's seven hermetic principles. Now, the first one that pertains to this very subject is the principle of rhythm. So in the principle of rhythm, it talks about all things rise and fall, the pendulum swings. So what must be extreme over here will have to rebalance to the other end of the spectrum. And ideally in non-duality, we want to be in the middle. We don't want to be extremely being swung around by the tides. We don't want to be thrown around like that. We want to have more control. So in the material world that we live in, in the yogi philosophies, they talk about a material world a mental world, which is the priority of the hermeticists, and the spiritual world. So in the material world, we can consider this the sensory plane, the place where we experience all of the senses, the extremes, the emotions. It's also the physical world, obviously. So the idea is in non-duality, and that's those who are seek that unshakable inner peace with the single eye, which is the third eye, when we want to spend our devotion and our focus in our life on being single-eyed and stepping outside of the material plane, outside of time and space, more embracing who we really are, remembering our mighty powers, our multidimensionality, when we want to aim for those things in this life experience while we're in this body with this mind, Hold, hold down, I get to the point here, then we want to focus on not being extreme in our pendulum swing, if you like. We want to more be able to be neutral in the middle. And how do we do that? Well, the experience of the polarity is a material experience. It's the physical realm that we are spending time in, if you like. And we can only spend time in it because we're in it. So, the second principle that I wanted to talk about in Hermeticism is the the principle of polarity. So the principle of polarity says that everything is dual or opposite in nature. So it, the, there's poles, poles or opposites, and opposites are identical. This is interesting, but different in degrees. So what does that mean? It means that when we're in this reality, this polar universe, there's a spectrum and one end of the spectrum is one extreme and the other is the other. So we'll have hot and cold, good and bad, love and fear. It goes on and on. Everything in this material universe has a pole, has a spectrum. And so when you're at a different point of the spectrum, you're still on the same pole. And the only way to step out of this experience of polarity is to step out of the material reality that we're in. So... The goal is to meditate. And I know I talk about this a lot, but there is great merits in meditation. It will help you on your spiritual journey. And meditation allows you to step out of time and space, step out of this material realm and step into the multidimensional aspect of you, the I. It enables you to see and experience and commune with source and you see through your third eye so not through your physical eyes but through your third eye and that's why it says be the single eye so we want to be able to practice in meditation that communion with using our single eye with source and when we do that, we step out of time and space. We no longer experience the polarities of this reality. And we step into a oneness, a bliss, an, experiences that, an experience that is beyond the sensory emotional plane.
It is not a material experience. It is beyond our bodily senses. It is a oneness, a bliss that I cannot even explain to you until you take the time to go and contemplate and find and devote yourself to that experience yourself. So I hope that I've given you some food for thought. I'm sure I have. If you haven't looked at the Hermetic Principles, really worth it. Hermes was a very interesting, interesting man who shared with us very, very multidimensional knowledge a long time ago. Well, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it and have a beautiful day. See ya.